So over the winter break, Mary Jane and I were trying to come up with something that we could call our family tradition. I mean, there are things that we do all the time, like every year, that are just ours, but we wanted something that was new, not necessarily new, I mean, people might still do it, but something that was just akin to us, not just like, oh, well, we wake up every Christmas morning and we get our kids out of bed together, like, people do that, like, it's not a tradition, that's just, you have to do that, um, so, last year we kind of started one inadvertently, in that, uh, we did a puzzle last New Year's Eve, it was a Superman puzzle, I had gotten it for a Christmas gift from one of my students, uh, before the break, uh, last school year, so the 16, 17 school year, and so I just said, okay, well, it's New Year's Eve, we're going to be up, you know, for several more hours, let's do a puzzle, we watched the movies, we did a puzzle, we watched, or, sorry, we watched the New Year's Rockin' Eve, so I said, okay, maybe that's our tradition this year, this, so I got, um, a puzzle, had Ellie help me pick it out, and we went from there. Uh, it's a Disney puzzle. It's it's a, a painting, or it's made to look like a painting by James Coleman, who is uh, a Disney artist, Disney animator, I guess you could say. And we uh, we started working on that. Now it's it's a pretty hard puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. And the fact that it looks like a painting with like brush strokes and different colors and stuff makes it that much more difficult because um, there are no clean lines to follow, to like pick out certain shapes and stuff. So it is a difficult painting to, uh, or picture, puzzle to work with. We've been working on it since New Year's Eve. It's January 9th right now and the puzzle is still not done. However, we are closer than we ever been. Obviously, because that's the way a puzzle works. Um, we're almost done. We were working on it last night. I had a real urge to watch Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince last night. So we did that while we worked on the puzzle. And um, we're almost done. But I think puzzles are, are fun. I enjoy them. Uh, you can just sit there quietly and enjoy just some time to look at colors and shapes and, you know, get your brain working and get your fine motor skills working. Um, so I think that's something that we're going to start doing as a family, as a tradition, every year is on New Year's Eve, um, we're going to do a puzzle. And whether it's one that I pick out or Mary Jane picks out or the kids pick out, well, right now it's kid, but in the future we plan it to be kids. Um, that's going to be something that we do. It's going to be something that our kids can look back on and say, hey, we, we did this with mom and dad uh, every year for, for New Year's. And, and that's going to be their memory, hopefully. You know, this is all, all in hopes. But uh, just wanted to share that, uh, throw an idea out there. If you're looking something for something fun for your family or something engaging for your family to do over the holidays, uh, that's a little bit outside of the norm. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you this afternoon.